Betty today has some important information for new moms about diet and brain health. And joining us now with what researchers have discovered is medical reporter Liz Bonas. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon to you once again. Researchers in this study looked at the impact of sugar intake early in life, especially during and after pregnancy. While we've known that sugar can play a role in weight gain and heart health, researchers in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine in this study wanted to find out how much it might impact a child's brain function. Every pregnancy in every body is different, but researchers in this study say it's likely the kind of natural sugar found in fruits and fruit juices good for mom and baby. But high levels of added sugar in sweetened beverages may be a problem. The study looked at data from more than a thousand pairs of mothers and children. Researchers found that women who had high sugar diets and those who drank regular soda pop during pregnancy were more likely to have children with poor cognitive skills. Now this can include everything from how verbal a child may or may not be to their problem solving skills to even what they can remember or recall. The same was true for young children who consumed greater amounts of sugar early in life. Eating fruit with natural sugar, that's a good thing. It appears to be associated with greater visual, motor, and other abilities such as verbal skills and verbal intelligence. Right now it's recommended that children under the age of two have no added sugar. Children two and older have no more than 25 grams or about six teaspoons of added sugar per day. Natural sugar, such as the kind found in fresh fruit, does not count against the daily limit. And we should mention, you know, they always have to look retrospectively at pregnancy because yeah. you can't say, here, drink a lot of sugar. Let's see what happens to the baby. Right, you right, know? right. Yeah. And that always means that, well, maybe there were other circumstances. And if you were drinking soda or even diet soda, they found wasn't good. Mm -hmm. What weren't you drinking? Were you not drinking milk? Were you, oh, you know, it tends point. to displace. So sure. you always have to look at that as a balance. If you're looking for low sugar stuff, look in the first three ingredients on like mm -hmm. a cereal or anything. If it's in the first three, it tends to be higher in sugar. You know, and I always say it just you can't, if you err on the side of healthy, it can't hurt. No, that's right. true. You know? But, but you know, it's, it's that whole thing. If some is good, it, you know, we don't have to restrict it all. There's probably yeah, a balance yeah, and a little yeah. bit of day. I do believe yeah. that. Yeah. I know. I say <laughs> I became a dietitian and tell people to eat things in moderation. <laughs> no, 